We've got the four-time world champion. Hey. It's four now. The Dang. world record breaker. <laughs> The queen of powerlifting, Amanda Lawrence. Congratulations on your huge performance today, Amanda. Hey, thanks. How are you feeling about it? You know, I was feeling really, really strong today, which was kind of surprising because, I mean, we just came off of Sheffield, huge performance there. Um, didn't know how my adductor was going to be feeling because I strained it a month and a half ago, but, I mean, we just hit a world record squat. What did we break it by, like, almost, like, a good three, amount. like three, uh, three, three, three and a half keys, or two and a half, two and a half keys, yeah. and, like, there was room there. Um, you know, judging was a little tough. Kept getting the two to ones, but. Uh, I think you broke it by like seven keys. Because it was 249, what? right? Two four, no, no, it was 246 and a half. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that, that deadlift, I'll probably be kicking myself a little bit after the fact. But the fact we were even able to load that up, given the injury uh, I had, um, I was. You know, stoked to be able to do that. So, um, just missed best lifter barely. It was just in my hand, slipped out. Um, but, but they know I'm still gonna be here. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, are you even more fired up now then? I mean. Yeah, I mean, like, give me some time. An off season. I mean, it's gonna be dangerous next we time I compete. We keep saying that a lot, huh? I need an off season. Need an off season. Yeah, I, I mean, like, seriously though. I mean, yeah. Uh, but, but what were you just gonna say? You said you're gonna be dangerous when you when you're back. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I just strained my adductor a month and a half ago, and we still loaded up 589, and that had speed. Granted, it didn't lock out, but um, and hit a world record squat. I mean, we almost took this whole meet, right? Um, still won, but yeah, I think with an off season, we'll be able to 650 plus for sure. How many times have you watched that deadlift video since the competition's been over? <laughs> it's probably been like it's been like two uh, hours probably, probably like I don't know <laughs> seven, seven yeah seven. probably like that <laughs> you've been watching it a lot I've been yeah like it. the next time <laughs> we deadlift like it's gonna be five reds <laughs> like guaranteed yeah just that'll kidding. be nuts yes I love that all right Joey you want to talk about Amanda's performance and just how proud you are yeah I mean um it was crazy somebody uh had their phone out I was like hanging out with this like Swedish kids all weekend and they had their phone and they were just showing me everything and they showed me like it was the girls like final standings for her weight class and it was just it's she's almost like a hundred kilos away from the next girl you know what I mean a hundred kilos that is a very extremely rare thing that you're ever gonna see ever like this may be the last time you ever see someone that is so like astronomically you know dominant and far out ahead for the women um, and to have that big of a cushion, I mean, she's like in her own universe. She, she, she worries about other things. Like, she doesn't have to worry about like place, like, oh, like placement, need to pull for this, pull for that, which she totally has the, like the killer instinct to do it, but it's just nobody's close. Um, and it's just like a very, and me, I'm always like, okay, like, you know, someone might come out of nowhere, you never know, one of the other girls might move up, um, which will probably be the only like, you know, if there is going to be like competition, it's probably going to be someone either from below that's around the 600s coming up or um, a new girl comes out of nowhere. Or I'm not too sure, but um, I'm just happy that she got through it. She's not hurt. Everything's good. Like, you know, another world title. You said four, four world titles in the beginning. I was like, thanks. That would have been four. Um, yeah. Would have been five, but, you know, the whole world Who's stopped, counting? stopped working. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, she's in a very special position and, um, it lets us have fun with it, you know? So how does this world feel compared to other ones? Like, I mean, it's not the first time, but it's been a couple of years already where you come in and you know that the second your opening deadlift hits the ground, the meet's over, or at least in terms of winning. So how does it feel? Um, I mean, I'm just grateful to be at every world championship that I've had the opportunity to be at. So, um, I guess this world's felt different in a sense where I didn't feel like I had a ton of time to prep for it. <laughs> um, so, like, to be able to go out there and do what we did, uh, pretty proud of what we accomplished. So, um, yeah, and, like, this was – was this, like, the most a most athletes of any world championship we've, we've yeah. been at, right? Yeah, it was yeah. the biggest world ever. Yeah, so it's really cool to see the sport continue to grow. And, you know, I can only imagine, like, five years down the road where we're going to be at. So, um yeah. 
So obviously we talked about deadlift a little bit, right? We talked, you pulled for the uh, best lifter. You got her really close. Um, ultimately, you didn't get it. You said next time you're hoping to have five reds on the bar. Yeah. Now, I have a question, which is, so squat, you've broken three times in the last 12 weeks, the world record. It's actually and kind of wild. It still looks like you have more on squats. You're how right. Far, how far do you want to try to push squats? What's your, do you have a goal? Do you have a number that you would like to hit? Um, like 260. Match the flats like, PR. Like 260 would be nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, like, I mean, we got a ways, but, like, of six, getting as close to 600 as possible, like, if she does, like, if she does six on squat and six on dead is going to go soon. Yeah. And then after that, it's like, you don't have to do it. You, like, you're good. Like, that's, <laughs> that's already, like, out of this planet. But, yeah, that's a good uh, driver. You know, shoot for the stars. So um, you talked about also it would be nice to have, like, an actual off season since you didn't have one. Uh, do you plan on taking a nice long off season and then just waiting until Sheffield to compete again? And this way you have time to get fully healthy, uh, rebuild, and then obviously you're at a disadvantage in Sheffield because you just push your world records all the time. So do you want to like take the time so you can come in like the strongest you've ever been and just literally just smash all these numbers? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's the plan. I mean, like I said, give me some time. You're gonna see something dangerous. So um, yeah. Just got to keep training, staying healthy, and long off season is when I have fun. And when I'm having fun, I'm strong. <laughs> yeah, Amanda, we were talking a lot about your squat and your deadlift, but um, how is your bench feeling? What was going on with your bench today? Because it looked like your third attempt was like your cleanest and best attempt of the day. Uh, you know, I was getting called for I think elbows on one, and then uh, I think there was up and down motion on my second things I've never been called on um you know I just kind of locked in on the third made some adjustments in the back of the coaches and um you know uh, kind of uh gave a talk with what kind of handoff I'm looking for um I don't want to say that it can make or break it but I mean it definitely helps but yeah I mean bench was feeling strong going into this meet uh I mean at the end of the day it comes down to also the judges right like what's going to pass what's not so um there's always room for improvement on bench, looking to hit 300 in a meet someday. So. And I think you mentioned uh, during the competition we were talking, I think you said that you've been hitting like the same third attempt on bench for a while. Is that right? Well, I mean, I'd like to think we came a long way since, what was it, South Africa. I missed both my second and third attempts for my hips coming off the bench, off the pad. Um, so, like, to be able to come back and, like, hit what I was before, you know, white lights. Um, I mean, that to me is a win in itself, and I can just keep building off of that. But, yeah, there's definitely room for improvement. We can, you know, get back in the lab and maybe dial in the technique. So, uh, you did, She did hit, like, uh, like volume PRs with bench, and she did, like, show progress with bench. And a lot of the times there's, like, a disconnect between you hit a number in the gym and now your mind's, like, in love with that number – so you can, you can muscle it, but your technique isn't there to hit it clean yet. You know, so that comes after, and then once you put the two together, then you can actually hit it. Yeah. So even though the number's the same, that doesn't mean that, yeah, it, like, that you, it. yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, things, compared things, to the first year. <laughs> her squat was like, like, I was like, usually, I mean, her squat is like much slower than that. I, like, when I saw her opener, I was like, it was like she did not cut. It literally was like she did not cut. I do not remember the last time she hit an opener squat um, where it was like it was like really fast. And I was like, okay, she's going to be good Today's for the higher the number, you know, which makes me wonder, yeah. do we chip that a little bit more? Do we get to pull a little bit less? You know, these, these are things that haunt me. But, yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. So we've talked about squat. You're the best squatter in the world by a mile. Deadlift also. People want <laughs> to know. When are you going to make a run for the bench? That's the only thing left that's challenging you. We're working on it. Yeah, we're <laughs> trying, man. It's hard to be the best at all three. Like, I mean, I, I did. Hey, I did get a bench gold this meet, whatever one this is. So I mean, there you go. I mean, I'm still, I'm still like hungry for more. Obviously, like, like I said, I'd like to hit 300 to meet, and it will happen. It's just give me some time. <laughs> Um, so Joey was mentioned how this time squats, like it moved, like you didn't cut, like it was just a regular day in the gym. How much in general do you have to cut to make weight? I, I only did a kilo and a half this meet. Um, I think the thing that made the biggest difference is I didn't have to 
hit like a super early morning weigh in. Um, like most of the yeah. other previous worlds. So like usually I was having to cut weight the night before, sleep on it, you know, depleted for longer periods of time. And then this, you know, today I was just able to do it morning of and I felt I felt good, didn't have to cut too much. Uh, like I said, only a kilo and a half. I mean, there's been times I've done almost three kilo. So that definitely made a big difference. And um, I didn't uh, like lose my legs uh, per se for squat today. I ha they, they were there, they were strong. So. I mean, if you're feeling strong with one and a half, and that's like a good spot to be in. So you don't plan on, I mean, I, I remember Delaney was telling me how, how he want, wanted to get a little bit heavier in the off season, have a little bigger of a cut so he could walk around a little heavier. Do you have any interest in doing that, or you like having the small cut and then not, not having to worry? Um, I mean, like, obviously less <laughs> is easier. I feel like in order to keep improving in this weight class over the years, we've had to do a, like, constant – bulk cut, bulk cut situation so we can, you know, continue stacking on muscle mass. So, um, yeah, I mean, this off season, I'll probably try to put on some more size and then cut down, you know, see what more mass we can gain. And, uh, like I said, bring, bring a dangerous package to Sheffield. So, so we mentioned that there's no, there's no <laughs> competition. Yeah. There's no competition like coming in the future. As far as we know right now, there's nobody that we can see like is coming right for you. How long do you plan on just doing this? Like, are you somebody that can just would like to just keep stacking chips, like walk away with 10 world championships at the end of the decade? I mean, that'd be pretty cool to say that. I, I just keep thinking down the line, talking to my grandkids, like, <laughs> I did, we did this <laughs> back in the day. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's some other meets coming up that I'm – I don't know if we can speak on yet or not. For, yeah, I don't but, know um, about it, that. But all, <laughs> all I know is I like the idea of off season. I like the idea of just – Fixing, repairing, resetting, everything mentally, physically, and then yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much that. And Amanda, um, this is the first time I've seen you kind of like in the warm up room, in the tunnel, coming out for your final deadlift, and you just like get yourself oh. into like worked up <laughs> into a frenzy. Um, and what are you thinking like when you're going out to for that third pull? Uh, I just got to get out of my mind to pull. I mean, that was 589 pounds. So I mean. I mean, just just got to do what you got to do. Um, you know, we all have our own little things, but yeah, I just uh, I got to be in that crazy mindset in order to pick something up like that. Cause, I mean, how do you go up to something like that so casually? But that's just me. That's just the kind of lifter I am. I think everyone. I mean, watching over the years, I'm I'm maybe more of an intense lifter. Um, but you know, I mean, you see me outside of powerlifting, and it's. And it's definitely the opposite. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's a, that's what's so interesting is that you're such a sweetheart outside, like right now, um, such like a bubbly personality and everything. But then, I mean, you like turn into like a different person back there in that tunnel. And um, it was just really <laughs> cool to see. And I, I think it's just awesome that you're still so motivated and so fired up despite having accomplished basically everything possible out there. Um, so it's really a, a big inspiration. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah, and uh, I don't have any. We don't have any other questions. Do you have any more questions for Amanda? We don't have any more questions, but just want to say thank you. You you've been a huge inspiration. I think that uh, a big reason why the sport is growing the way that it is is because of what you've done. Um, you've inspired the next generation of lifters on both men and women's side, and we just can't thank you enough for everything you do and just keep doing it and keep being you. Yeah, that, of course. Yeah, thank you. Yep, and congratulations once again, world champ. Chic. <laughs> <laughs>